What's up? Brian Briggs here mm -hmm. from Iron Tiger Tattoos in Mount Pleasant, Michigan. Ready to do another big crazy tattoo. If you're uh, interested in getting something like this, definitely hit me up. I'm gonna try and get as much done as I can today, so let's see what we could do in like six, seven hours. So I thought maybe we could have this cool yeah. like glow effect almost. Yeah, yeah, yeah so oh, that's badass. Because that's what I think was missing from like the other right. uh, design that you had sent me was just some sort of like lighting source. Yeah, right. make it more dramatic. Right. Yeah, cool. Oh, that's badass. Awesome. Show this camera real quick. <laughs> Everything. The easy cover up. Right. Yeah, that's a lot better. Fills that front space a little bit more, right. you know? Right. Right there. And then also cover that whole thing with the skull. And maybe even some of that whole thing could end up in the eyes. I'll stencil it all on and we'll figure it out yeah. basically. We just want to make sure it all fits. <laughs> side of the arm next time. Maybe. Yeah. Hopefully we can get all this done today. That'd be cool. At least like on there. Yeah. Might need to come back through. We'll see yep, a little not thing. a big deal. Better safe than sorry. Right. Got the chunk of stencil not on there. So is that just to help it stick? Yeah. It's like it started out with like a roller stick of deodorant. Yeah, oh yeah, day. yeah. I remember that. And people started using other stuff and developing products right now we got all kinds of different stuff but that's my favorite one it's called electrum mm -hmm. the first part of Kurt's outer half sleeve tattoo. Uh, we have plans to continue to the upper half in just a few weeks. I get to tattoo clients that range far and wide from all walks of life. And if we're all truly seven degrees from separation, then you just never know what kind of client's gonna request you next. And that is the adventure of the tattooing lifestyle that I really love. When it comes to social media and using it to help your business flourish, you really have to be true to yourself and post intentional content that's backed by your true passion and your love for what you do. And if you're being the real you, then you're automatically going to attract more clients that are perfect fit for you. That's why my rule of thumb is always just to keep it real on social media because you don't want to attract people that aren't a good fit for you by faking who you are. This specific client I got from word of mouth, I actually had another great client that referred him to me and sometimes that's really awesome actually to get a lead that was referred to by another awesome client because then you just know right away that it's going to be a fun project just based on who referred them that's why as an artist you should just never underestimate the network that one client could have one person's word of mouth could just change everything for you and no matter what business you're in i think that is true 
I find a lot of my clients online, but I can't tell you enough how much your referrals and your reviews actually help me to find more perfect clients just like you. So I have to thank you for always spreading the good word about my art. Before I tattoo any client, I usually like to spend a good amount of time just unpressured designing my piece by myself before I even tattoo them or meet with them for the session. And I think it's paying dividends, honestly, putting that extra work in, having a solid plan helps me clarify my vision and excites me and excites my client as they gain major confidence in the plan, seeing a digital version of it before we begin the tattoo. Tattoos like this take a lot of color saturation, which can take a long time. Anything that takes a lot of uh, packing color or black, like solid black, it's best to take a slow, methodical approach with those types of tattoos. Uh, for comparison, I can only finish about like half the space that I could with a black and gray tattoo in the same amount of time. And that's because in a black and gray tattoo, I'm using the skin as one of the tones. So it, it, it's a lot different. You don't have to pack ink into every little square inch of the skin uh, whenever you're using a negative area like that. So flowers and skulls are some of the most popular tattoos ever and every tattoo artist should be proficient in these subject matters. That's why it's most important to pick an artist based on their style when you choose to get a timeless tattoo idea like this. You need to take the time to find someone that's going to put their spin on it and then has a style that you really like. Whether it's the, I don't even know what they're called, the, these things could come out of the sun and the flower. You know, those essentially are the seeds also. Oh, yeah, yeah. Yeah, pistols. Yeah, that's what they're pistols. Yeah. I know what it is. I know what it is. to get pretty good with like names of flowers, even. Like right. that. Yeah. 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 I don't know. <laughs> don't limit yourself based on the location of the shop or the price or their wait list. Just get the tattoo you deserve. And if you can't right now, then just wait. You know, it's better than settling for a total ripoff or even worse, a totally botched piece, right? If you're looking for an artist like that, I can tell you that a lot of them hate being restricted by your photos from Pinterest, especially like or like a popular site like that that just um, offers the same subject matter to every tattoo artist, which is why a lot of tattoos start to look the same after a long time. If you look at enough artists and it's a great place to start with a photo, it could spark some cool ideas, but a real artist wants to share the creations from their own mind with the world, not just imitations of other great artists. And that's kind of what I've been going through lately is finding, you know, f real fulfillment, not just money or success, because life isn't about money or success. It's about fulfillment. And that's why I started tattooing in the first place. I sure didn't make a lot of money doing this in the beginning, so it had to be the art and it had to be the passion and the journey of the growth that I found fulfilling and I wanted to do something that I love for a living I started out just hoping to make a living at it at first honestly and it didn't start out really being able to like thrive until I really went solo opening my own private studio and being able to control the financial and business aspects of my career too um, completely if I was distracted by money though too soon I think I would have never gained the skill set to really run my own business now, uh, 10 years in, I realized that working for myself, that the, the best art is created in play and with freedom. And when it's utilized as the artist's purest form of expression, that's what I really desire is most, is to work with as many clients as possible who realize this too, and they wanna see what I can do for them, what I can design for them. And if we can take the leash off, like what's actually possible and just let me go full beast for you, you know?
just saves all kinds of time. It does, yeah. It's efficient, too. It's like, mm-hmm. really consistent. That's what I like about it. It's the same every time I go to use it. Right. It's altered. You know, like a bu- if someone bumps it or some weird shit happens like that, it's like, it's not gonna. No. Yeah, like if, a, if I have like an old machine or whatever, you know, like one little thing can change and you have to readjust everything on the mm-hmm. machine. Mm-hmm. How long does the battery stay up on it? I got two on this one, so whenever this one's going, I got the other one charging now. So oh, yeah. basically, it just goes forever. <laughs> so about four hours each battery, though, or something. Oh. Maybe five or six sometimes you could get out of it. Just depends on the speed you're running it at the whole time. Right. If you're running it at a real high speed and you're using it as like a liner and stuff, then you're gonna have less battery life. Right, right, because you're using more. All right. Because I think like society's gonna get to a point where there's just so many people with tattoos with the way it well, is it's, right it's now. It's normal. Like it's it's normal now. Yeah. I think it really like, is. You can't find an employee without a tattoo. It's no. gonna be the way it's gonna be. Yeah. yeah. I do charge what I feel like it's worth now because I know who I am and I know I'm more confident in what I can do than ever but I'm here to give you the best I can possibly provide and my goal is every time that you come to me my work continues to get better and better and then every tattoo I do is my favorite I'm just on a mission to just keep getting better and better for you and for me for everybody so I'm trying to get the best tattoos possible out there and just the coolest stuff that I can possibly create for you This tattoo ended up going about seven hours before we completed the first half of it. And it's healing up really great currently. I got to see some pictures and I can't wait to continue this. I'll be attempting to complete the outer sleeve in the second session. So make sure to subscribe and follow so that you don't miss out on seeing the final results of this in the second video. Special thanks to our videographer and editor, Gio Barlett Productions, for making the show possible. It wouldn't be what it is without him, so make sure you check out his website, geobarlettproductions.com. And if you're interested in booking, to check out irontigerbooking.com. That's irontigerbooking.com. two three times a day with antibacterial soap yep yep right, and pat it dry with like a clean paper towel every time you wash it yep you know you could put a little bit of moisturizer on it i saw some stuff there if you want to grab some okay but pretty much just keep it clean keep it moisturized that's the hard part but yeah. this stuff is going to take that first couple of days of a headache out of your uh, regiment see you next time on iron tiger experience Brought to you by pigmentpop.com.